stones. It's fun to hop from stone to stone rather than take the long way round. Sometimes you can see the stones. From the window came a cool breeze past the unfired object of porcelain and red clay. Finished sculpture after Anagama would find at Laurelville a Mennonite retreat in the Appalachian Mountains. Preparing for the far end, the night shift. There's no shortage of good wood at Laurelville. <coughs> Here it says Denmark, Art Deco Cannon Bunker designed by Hitler. English girls nervously giggling at the thought of Germans. and flame have decorated the surface. Very gently, Limfjord, Denmark. A quiet, still, passive place waiting. Monumentally small objects, its size is not equal to its presence. Sussex, England, a wonderful wall held together more by air than stone. <laughs> fragment, a shoulder. The surface is coloured by salt and ash and flame. Trankabar, India, the former Danish colony. The image could have been taken in England. There are a million there are a million potters in India, roughly. Another monumentally small object decorated with ash. Low water on our local beach. Foraging for food gets distracted by rhythm and movement abundance. <coughs> Flat life. This object uses the feeling of growth and movement. Feelings have to come out. This cow-trodden path is rarely visible. The sun has melted the snow, the cows didn't plod along.
close up of paper clay once fired wall piece. Collecting clay with school children at a disused brickworks. I like the colours here. <laughs> a piece of Afghanistan from a mountain called the Old Lady of Kohat, brought back from India by my Uncle Robert in 1935. monumentally small sculpture made in Sweden from Swedish red clay and French porcelain. Slippery stepping stones, licking swirling currents. Swirling stepping stones caressing slippery currents. <laughs> 